What's up YouTube? It's Homestead Runner here. Uh, I got these four chairs. Uh, they were on the porch of a house that burned down, so the, um, I guess, coating had all burned off and they rusted pretty bad. So you can see I, I started here and I already did the top. Um, so I'm going to uh, use an angle grinder to brush off all the dust and then I use a paint Typically I like to do a uh, spray paint primer and then a spray paint um, and we use uh, Rust-Oleum which helps to prevent rust from coming back. Um, obviously I'm not going to do a perfect job here but I'll do a, a pretty passable job and then uh, every couple years do it again. So that's one that I, I've done the upper half on and here's one where I haven't touched at all. Um, you can just see how it's a little bit random uh, depending on how close it was to the fire. Here's another one. Um, and then here's one that my wife has already restored. So I'll show you a bit of the process in a minute. Okay, so I did all of the flat surfaces, or actually most of the chair, with the uh, thicker brush, and I actually think that worked out a little bit better. I think it was especially faster than the thin one. But the flip side is I have a bunch of these uh, thin strips of metal in my pants. They kind of shot out at me a little bit more than the twisted one did. Um, so I just did the top uh, or outside surfaces. So in a second, I will flip it over and do the um, underside. Obviously, once that's complete, then I'll hit it with a coat of primer. Certainly not perfect, but much better than it was, and it uh, will be good enough to get a, another couple years out of these chairs, and then I'll have to paint them again. So here's a before. I flip the chair over now and I'll go over it real quick and then I'll show you once it's complete. Okay, so this is the finished chair. I tried to get into the corners as best I could, um, but it's obviously pretty hard, pretty tight to get in. 99% of it I did with the flat surface one and then to get the corners I did uh, the thinner brush. Um, and then just real quick note, make sure you hold on to the angle grinder tightly, uh, otherwise you can get some road rash on your leg. Okay, so the chair's all primed up and I've got it sat upright. The top half I already did uh, black on before, so that's why that's not white, but this is just doing the bottom half. turned out pretty good. Okay, and then one last reminder on why you should wear jeans when you're using the angle grinder. So here's the finished product. The finish on there is very, very smooth. Um, see if I can get it to focus, probably not but uh, you would not be able to tell that this was all rusted and went through a fire and was sanded down. It looks exactly like it would sitting on a store floor and uh, ready to be sold. So I'm very, very happy with how this one came out. Thanks everyone.